This is uh, this is crazy. This is why living in Ohio is awesome. Oh my god! Hi guys. So we have left the hotel. We stayed at a Marriott last night in New Jersey, and we're on our way um, to the cruise ship. So that's super exciting. Cruise day. Yes, cruise day. Brandon's driving right now and it's super stressful. The traffic here is unreal. Um, I almost had a panic attack last night in the traffic. We've driven in New York and New Jersey before, but I don't know what it is. Today just seems, yeah, yesterday it seems so much worse than it ever does. I think it was rush hour. I think that was why. Now it's that rush hour, I don't think. But unless there's a lunch rush. But anyways. <laughs> um... Yeah, last night was definitely interesting. Um, Noah did not sleep as well as what we expected him to sleep. He fell asleep at 10, but then he woke up like an hour later. And he stayed up like, I don't know, what would you say, to like 1 or something? 1 or 1.30. And then all night he woke up crying randomly, and he was super hungry. So, I don't know. And he trashed the hotel like a rock star. I don't know. Um, we'll leave it at that. But... <laughs> We're on our way to the Anthem of the Seas, and I'm super excited. Um, I've never been on this new of a ship before, and it's been a while since I've been on the Caribbean. We usually do Carnival, just because that's what we're used to, but we're on our way. We got our Starbucks. This is our third Royal Caribbean cruise, but yeah. but it's still, we, we do several Carnivals in between every time we do a Royal Caribbean cruise. Yeah, but we've never been on a Royal ship this nice, so... I guess that's about it for right now. We are about, I don't know, 20 minutes out from the ship. So. And we are late. We're late. We're this, supposed to check in. Definitely a trend on this uh, trip so far. Running behind. The late Brookses. But anyways, we're, we're supposed to check in around noon. And I think, yeah, we're late, obviously. It's 12.23. So, but it's fine. We won't miss the ship or anything. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys there. Bye. Fun part, mustard drill. <laughs> it's a drill. In the case of an actual emergency, you will hear the signal and then the captain will communicate all safety instructions over the PA system. All right, so we're on the ship. <laughs> we're on uh, the ship, yay! And uh, we're gonna be real and let you know what we think. Yeah. First of all, uh, just first impressions of the ship. It's beautiful. We haven't had a chance to look around at anything yet. Everything is new and looks really cool. Um, it's huge. It's very, very that large. Much. Yeah, um, and that's part of the the stress right now. And I don't want to act like this is going to be a problem for us because we've been on large ships before. But this is definitely the largest, um, and it's embarkation day. And we know that embarkation day brings a bunch of people trying to use the elevators and get around. And normally, um, we would actually take the stairs um, for the first day or so just to try to avoid. Um, crowds the crowds and, and everything, yeah. but we have a stroller with us, and that's something that is new for us, um, having to navigate uh, that way. Yeah, navigate we're first time parents, but this is his second cruise, but still. Yeah, and, you know. and we, so we're you know we have to take elevators in order to get around, uh, especially if we're going up seven flights of stairs. Yeah, we're yeah our rooms on the twelfth floor, and the main so. stuff that goes on down below is on deck uh, three, four, and five. So yeah, um, and everything above that is is. Um, uh, floors or rooms, uh, floors of rooms until we get up to the uh, deck 14, which becomes like the pool deck and everything. So, anyways, um, so we just have dealt with a lot of crowds, and uh, the muster drill was complete chaos. Literally, we got a video, uh, which was really cool. It was cleverly done. It looked like a movie, but because they were trying to make it so entertaining, no one was paying attention. 
Right. And it was pure chaos. And people were just walking around in and out, and the people who are uh, manning the mustard station drills weren't telling people that they had to stay where they were supposed to be. And then by the time the captain finally dismissed us from the muster station, we had uh, to wait in a line for about 20 minutes for an elevator, which was uh, horrible. Um, yeah, just because everyone kept cutting us, like, we would wait for an elevator, and one would open, and everyone would, like, rush in super quick, or all the elevators would be super full. Um, like I said, normally we would take the stairs, but it was just way too many fl uh, flights. Right? Finally so, went to yeah. Sorrento's Pizza, grabbed some, and, and came up to the room to watch the sail away um, from our, our personal private balcony. Uh, what was really cool was when we were at the mustard drill, the captain came over and said that they had prepared something special. Uh, normally when you leave the Port of Bayonne, you turn to the starboard side and just go out underneath the Verrazano Narrows Bridge and go right out to sea. Um, but <laughs> no, it's like. But today, instead, they turned to the port side, went past the Statue of Liberty, and then turned around in the Hudson River and came back out. Aww. Aww he wants to you. give a kiss. Thank you. Aww. Aww. And then it came up past the city, and uh, so we get some good time lapse footage of that. Um, anyways, when we went and got our pizza and came back, oh. Oh. we dropped. The pizza in the elevator for. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to push a stroller, two plates of pizza, a baby, our drinks, everything. It was, that was just pure chaos. So I went back down, got us more pizza, and came back to the room, and we've been here ever since. But that's just, I mean, that's not, that's not going to ruin our trip. No, it's not going to ruin our trip. It's just, um, it's just uh, getting crazy and trying to get settled. It always, uh, it's always tough, but today's been extra hard. And the one thing I will say, I am going to, I don't like to complain, but I will say that the one thing I have to complain about, I guess, is that we got to our room, the room's nice and everything, but I opened the fridge because I had to put medicine away, and there was like a half-eaten bowl of yogurt in there, um, which I was like, oh, uh, but I'm like, all right, whatever, just one little thing. And then I put Noah on the ground to crawl, crawl around, and there was like... There was like toenail clippings and sand and it's yeah. So the room was not detail cleaned like it normally should be on turnaround day. So right. So we had to tell housekeeping, and they said they'd be up in ten minutes, and that was like an hour ago. Still haven't come yet. So we need them to clean our floors. But besides that, don't get us wrong. The ship is gorgeous. We, just we are determined to have a good know. time. Yeah. Uh, any day cruising is a good day, and so yeah. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Oh yeah, we got half booth, half not booth, and we got a corner and a window. Yeah, window right there, and we were all the way in the back of the restaurant, our own private table. And or I ordered a Noah a fruit salad and spaghetti, and I got a Caesar salad and turkey, and I don't know what Brandon got. I got salmon <laughs> and shrimp. So yeah. Yep. I like how they're doing the dining rooms. They're like small and intimate. And they're not yeah. like a large dining room. More like room going to like, TV. yeah, like going out to a, a nice restaurant and stuff. But uh, you have your own small section. It's nice. Yeah. Oh, nice. All right, we're gonna eat. Bye.
eight being straight. Good, go one, two, three, there he is, four, five, six, seven, eight, high, ten, low, go back to 18. Now, as you look at these screens, I know you're not that impressed yet, but you see them all crossing over to cover all the screens. Well, through the magic of one quick button, we can synchronize them all and make them act as one. Let's go ahead and make the magic happen. So remember they all had a test banner. Do you remember the test banners? A little bit more impressive. Let's add a little bit of color. Hey, remember we were at two weeks ago? Oh, it's starting to look good. It's starting to look good. Oh, I like it. Okay. Still, still not impressed. Okay, I can see. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, wait, wait for it, wait for it. Woo! Look at all those boxes. Is that cool? We, now, wait, wait, don't get crazy yet. Wait for the final box. Okay, now you can get crazy. <laughs> and uh, he's already asleep. My name is Dennis. Dennis Charles, I get the privilege of being your cruise director this cruise. Yay! I got that big Delta sign on the wall behind it and I figured out what it stands for. Don't expect luggage to arrive. <laughs> You're still doing weight, kid. He only had a 20 minute nap today. <laughs> He's your nightly dose of cuteness before we say goodnight. What are you doing? night has definitely turned around. Um, dinner was fantastic, as you saw part of that. Um, the food was so good, and our location was great. And after dinner, we, well, Noah ate really, really well, too, so. Yeah, he ate his uh, bread, fruit, and spaghetti, and he didn't even save room for dessert. Then he came back here and chugged the whole bottle. Yeah, so <laughs> he's really having a big appetite this trip. Yeah. So, um, but what did we do? We walked around a little bit. Yeah, so um, after uh, dinner, we went to the 270, which is a venue on board that's really technologically advanced. It's got a lot of amazing stuff there. Um, they said that that room was more than double the cost of the first ship that Royal Caribbean ever built. Just that room, I think they said like $37 million yeah, or something. Yeah, something like totally insane. Yeah, uh, mind-blowing. How <laughs> expensive it was. Um, then uh, after we went to um, 
that show, we, we watched a little bit of it, uh, saw the venue, and then we just kind of walked around the back of the ship, and we, we haven't seen hardly any of the ship yet. Yeah, we still have to go see, like, the bumper cars, roller skating, flow rider, like, tons of stuff. Yeah. And a lot of it's outside, and it's so cold right now, right. so as it warms up, we will go explore more. Yeah, we have two days at sea still. Um, and then we'll be at our first port of call. But uh, tomorrow's going to be kind of a relaxing day. We've got some fun activities planned with uh, just everything that's going on uh, around the ship. Um, hopefully, some bumper cars and uh, some, uh, DreamWorks uh, oh, yeah. spotting and stuff. Like, like meet and greet for Noah. Uh, Alex the Lion and all that. Yeah, I can't remember what else we had signed up for. But. There's, yeah, there's just a couple little things that we've got going on. You'll see, just follow along tomorrow. But right <laughs> yeah. now, we're already in our pajamas and ready for bed. Yeah. And uh, we're just going to relax and hopefully sleep in a little bit. Whatever Noah lets us do. Yeah, it's so whatever fun. Noah wants. So. <laughs> That's our motto. Of life. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, I can't wait to show you guys everything, um, like the Bionic Bar and... Wonderland and all the different stuff that's around this ship. It's really, really awesome looking so far. So can't wait to view it um, in more detail when we are uh, less tired from traveling.